Hi friends, uh, I have completed previously two videos. This is the third video and I have selected one problem here. Again, I am doing some more problems for the sake of practice. You have to practice a number of problems like this. Then you will become perfect in this. Now here is a problem. Again, I have taken it from your textbook, prescribed textbook of the board. Uh, the first term of an AP is 5, the last term is 45 and the sum is 400. Find the number of terms and the common difference. This is the problem. This is the textbook problem, unsolved problem from the textbook. So there is a AP. I know A of the AP. A is the first term that is 5. A is 5. The last term, I will call that as L, is 45 45 and the sum is 400 that is yes n is 400 this can also be called as a n a n or l l is last term or nth term means a n uh, what we have to this is the data given and he is asking us to find out the number of terms in the progression that is what is n and the common difference that is what is d. Now for the sum of a arithmetic series you know the formula is Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus l that is sum of n terms is equal to n by 2 that is number of terms divided by 2 multiplied by the sum of first and last terms. Now in this equation, I know Sn, I know A, I know L, all the three are known. So I can get N from here. So N will be equal to 2 times Sn divided by A plus L. So that is 2 times 400 divided by A is 5 plus 45 that is 800 divided by 45 plus 50 45 plus 5 is 50 so 0 0 gets cancelled 5 16 times 18 so I got the first one n I got n is 16 next I have to find out the common difference for that I will take this one a n I know is a plus n minus 1 times d. This is the formula. So n minus 1 into d will be equal to a n minus a. So d will be equal to a n minus a divided by n minus 1. So a n that is the last term is 45 minus a is 5 divided by n minus 1 is 16 minus 1. Now I know n is 16. So 16 minus 1. So that will be 45 minus 5 will be 40 divided by 16 minus 1 is 15. 15. So they are not divisible. 50, 40 is not divisible completely by 15. So 5 3 is a 5 8s. So the answer is 8 by 3. The difference, common difference is 8 by 3. Number of terms, he wants number of terms. We have got that and he wants the common difference. We have got both of them. So this is how the problem is to be done. This is one problem which can be asked for 2 3 marks in the examination. Next, the next problem is Find the twenty. Find the sum of twenty. Uh, sorry. Find the sum of first twenty-two terms. Find. <coughs> find the sum of. Find. the sum of first 
22 terms of an AP. 22 terms of an AP in which in which D is 7 in which D is equal to 7 and the 22nd term 22nd term is 149. 149. This is again another problem from your textbook. So I have taken that like this. What he has given is there is an AP D is 7 A22 22nd term of the AP is 149. Find find S22 what is S22 he has that is the last term this A22 now here uh, we cannot find out directly S22 because we don't know A as well as L uh, A uh, we don't know N also we don't know so we have to find out both of them now what we have to do is first a22 is equal to a plus 21d that is n minus 1d a plus a n is equal to a plus n minus 1d we, we have been given 22nd term so we, this will be n minus 1 will be 21 so 21d so a22 is 149 is equal to a i don't know plus 21 into 7 d is given 7 so that will be 149 is equal to a plus uh, 7 ones are 7 7 twos are 14 147 therefore a will be equal to 149 minus 147 so that will be 2 so the first term will be 2 a will be 2. So the series is 2, 9, 16, 23, etc., etc., like that. The 9 minus 2 is 7, 16 minus 9 is 7, 23 minus 16 is 7, like that. The common difference. So, like that. Now I want Sn, S22 I want. Now the formula for Sn is n by 2 into a plus a plus last term, first term plus last term. I know the value of S n, S no S twenty two. I know n, so S twenty two will be equal to twenty two by two into a plus twenty two by two plus a. A is a is known now. A is 2 plus the last term is 149. So this will be 2 1s are 2, 2 11s are 11 into 151. That is 11 1s are 11, 1 to carry 55, 55 plus 156, 5 to carry 11 1s are 11, 11 plus 5 is 16. 16, 61. This is S 22. Let us do one more problem. If the sum of the first n terms of an AP, if the sum, if the sum of first n terms of an AP of an arithmetic progression is 4n minus n square for n minus n square what is the what is its first term what is its first term that's first first term that is s1 what is the sum of first term 
what is the sum of first two terms what is the sum of sum of first two terms first two terms what is the second term what is the second term second term similarly find similarly find find the third fourth the third find the third and tenth tenth and nth term and nth term this is the problem this is the problem similarly find the third the tenth and the nth term now here what is given is Yes, n sum of n terms is given by the relationship four n minus n square. Now he wants yes one, that is the first term. First term that will be same as a. Sum of one term will be the term itself. There are no other terms, so it will be a only. Now yes, n is given as four n minus n square. So S one will be equal to four into that is n becomes one here. So four into one minus one square. That is four minus one. That is three. This is the first term. First term A or the sum of the first term means also A. It is the same. Next, he wants sum of the first two terms. That is S two. Now n is two here now. This is the second term, so four into two minus two square n square will be two square n will be two, so s two will be equal to eight minus two square is four, that is four. So first term sum of first term is four. Now, uh, what is the second term? A two, A two will be. S two minus S one. If you subtract the sum of two terms, first two terms from the sum of first term, you will get A two. That is what he is asking. He is asking what is A two? S two is four. So four S one is three. So four minus three that is one. So A one is three. A is three. A two is A two is One. Now a two is one. Now d common difference will be a two minus a or a two minus a one. First term, if you call that as a one, that is three mi uh, one minus one minus three. So common difference is minus two. Common difference is minus two. Now a three will be a three will be a Plus two d. A is three plus two into d is minus two. So this becomes three minus four. So that will be minus one. A three third term will be minus ten minus one. Tenth term a ten will be a plus nine d. So that will be ah. Uh, Three, a is three, plus nine into minus one, that is three minus nine, that will be minus six. So it will be minus six. A n will be, the nth term will be, a plus n minus one times d. So that will be three plus n minus one into d is minus one. So that will be three uh, minus n plus one. Three minus of yeah, sorry, three uh, minus of n minus one. 
this is a n nth term. So like that you can find out any term now because you have got it. You have got all the terms. Next we will take up uh, one more problem. Find the sum of find the sum of first the first 40 first 40 positive integers positive integers integers divisible by 6 divisible by 6 now <laughs> The first positive, uh, first 40 positive integers, we want to find out S40. S40 is what? This is what we want. Now the first term A is, or A1 is 6. A is 6 or A1 is 6. The second term will be, A2 will be 12. A3 will be 18, like that. So the AP is 6, 12, 18, uh, 24, 20, no, 30, etc, 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 like this. Now, uh, so here A is 6, D is also 6, 12 minus 6 is 6, 18 minus 12 is 6, 24, they are all divisible by 6. 6 1s are 6, 6 2s are 12, 6 3s are 18, 6 4s are 24, 6 5s are 30. They are also, they can also be called as multiples of 6. They are also multiples of 6. So A is 6, D is also 6. Now, we will find out what is the uh, last term. Last term will be, what is A40? A40 will be equal to a, A plus 39D. So that is 6 plus 39 into 6. That is, uh, I think, 240. 40 into 6, that is 240. The last term will be, A40 will be 240. Now, <coughs> that is the last term, A40. Now, S, uh, S, he wants S40. S40 will be n by 2 into A plus the last term. That is 40 by 2 into A is 6 plus last term is 240. So, this will be 20 into 246. 20 into 246. 2, 6 are 12. 1, 2, 4 is 8 plus 1, 9, 2, 2 is 4, 4,920, 4, that is the, that is S40, S40 is 4,920, this is the problem, this is how you have to do it. Next, let me take one more problem, uh, a spiral, a spiral, The next problem I have selected here is a spiral, a spiral is made up of, made up of successive semicircles, successive semicircles, semicircles. With centers, with centers alternately, centers alternately at A and B, A and B, starting with center A, 
starting with center A. Center A, comma, of radii, of radii, 0.5 centimeter, comma, 1 centimeter, 1.5 centimeter, comma, 2 centimeter, etc., etc., as shown in figure, as shown in figure. in figure. What is the total length of such a spiral? What is the total length of total length of such a spiral? Such a spiral such a spiral total length of such a spiral made up of made up of 13 13 consecutive semicircles consecutive semicircles take pi is equal to 22 by 7 is y is equal to 22 by 7. Now, he has also given a figure, sketch here, a figure. The figure is like this. We have a straight line. Here there are two points. One is A and the other is B. A, B. Now, with A as center, AB as radius, we have drawn one semicircle. This is one semicircle. Its length, the semicircle, this length is L1. Its length from here to here is L1. Then with B as center, this as radius. This as radius. Now this is another semicircle. Now the radius here is 0.5. The radius here is 1. This length is L2. The length of this semicircle from here to here is L2. Then again A as center with this radius from here to here as the radius again one this thing this is L3 then uh, again A as center this is radius L4 etc 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 there will be 13 semicircles now the AP is L1 L2 L3 L4 L5 etc etc up to L30. Now L1 will be that is the length of this semicircle will be you know the perimeter of the semicircle is pi r. Pi r means uh, pi he says take 22 by 7 into 0.5. The length of the second one will be 22 by 7 into 1 centimeter. The length of the third one will be 22 by 7 into 1.5. The length of the fourth one will be 22 by 7 into 2 centimeters. 22 by 7 into 2.5, like that it will continue. This is the first term, this is the second term, this is the third and that is the fourth. Now, here A is 22 by 7 into 0.5. This is a so many centimeter. B will be this minus this. This minus this. That is 22 by 7 into 1 minus 22 by 7 into 0.5. That will be again common is 22 by 7 is common into 1 minus 0.5. That will be 0.5. So that is also same. Now A is known, D is known. Now what we have to do is we have to find S N. S N. Yeah, sorry, S thirteen we have to find out. The sum of all these lengths L one, L two, L three, L four, 
we have to find out L1 plus L2 plus L3 plus L4 up to L13. We have to find out 13 semicircles. We have to add. So S13 will be equal to S13 will be equal to what? Uh, 13 by 2 n by 2 you know Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d so that is the formula 13 by 2 into 2 into 22 by 7 into 0.5 plus uh, 13 minus 1 that is 12 into uh, d is 22 by 7 into 0.5 this is it so this will be equal to 13 by 2 into this if you multiply it will be 22 by 7 22 by 7 plus here it will be 6 into 22 by 7 that will be 13 by 2 into Four divided by seven. Now seven ones are seven. Seven twenty two sa. Seven twenty two sa. Two ones are two. Two eleven are twenty two. So thirteen into eleven it will be. Thirteen into eleven means eleven into three is thirty three three. One forty three. One forty three centimeter. That is the total length of the thirteen semicircles will be equal to. 143 centimeters that is the answer i hope you have understood this if you are satisfied inform your friends also to view this subscribe let them subscribe this channel let them use it if uh, you have any doubts you can call me you can call me and uh, uh, ask doubts uh, ask me ask to uh, if you ask me the doubts i will be able to explain it to you so i think with this I have done quite a number of a few number of problems. So we can say you we have finished arithmetic progression. Alright, if you have any doubts, you can ask me.